एट चैप्टर मेजर्स ऑफ डिस्पर्शन दिस चैप्टर बिलोंग्स टू मैथमेटिक्स टू ए पार्ट ट्वेल्व लास्ट पार्ट कंप्लीटेड वेरिएंस एंड स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन बाय ग्रुप डेटा डिस्क्रीट फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मॉडल टुडे क्लास इंपॉर्टेंट मॉडल find the variance and the standard deviation of the following data this is a class interval frequency is given that is what your class interval frequency is both are given this is continuous frequency distribution model problem in this problem we can uh, solve this problem using two formulas two methods you can use the standard method first method you can use uh, same answer second method also we use uh, you get similar answer Suppose I am taking this uh, this problem can solved by using step deviation method. Which method? Step deviation method. In this step deviation method, what is the variance formula? What is the variance? What is the variance formula? Variance sigma square equal to h square by n square into h square by n square into capital N into summation of i is equal to 1 to n f i into d i square min minus summation of i is equal to 1 to n f i into d i whole square this one is the formula this is a which formula variance formula in a continuous frequency distribution by using step deviation method we can we can solve this problem any method but i am doing a, we are using a step deviation method in this method we can find f i into d a square value and f i into d a value and f i into d a whole square value first of all we construct the table in this table construct the table in this table first you can write a class interval c i after that we can write a frequencies f i First, you can write these two. You get what? First class interval is thirty to forty, forty to fifty, fifty to sixty, sixty to seventy, seventy to eighty, eighty to ninety, ninety to hundred. These are the class intervals. This is the frequency. What is the frequency? Three, seven. Twelve, fifteen, eight, three, two. These are the frequencies. After that, first we can find n. N is what? N is the sum of the frequencies. N is the sum of the frequencies. H is the length of the class interval. What is the length of this class interval? Each class interval length is ten. That's why H value is ten. Capital N we can find here. Capital N equal two plus three, five. Five plus eight. 13 plus 5 18 20 27 plus 3 30 3 plus 1 30 plus 2 30 therefore n value is 50 n value is 50 coming n h value is length of the class and tan also be coming after that we can find the di what is the meaning of di di equal to di equal to x i minus a by h this is the value of di In this di, we know that uh, we know that just h. We don't know x i. What you can find x i? X i. X i means what here? Here x i means what? X i is mid value of class interval. Mid value of class interval. What is the mid value of thirty to forty? Thirty plus forty, how much? Seventy. Seventy by mid to nothing but thirty five. Here. Last class step deviation method mean problems. You can using some trick here. First you can find the first mid value. After that you can add length of the class and how much you can add each of the ten ten ten. Thirty five plus ten forty five plus ten fifty five plus ten sixty five plus ten seventy five plus ten eighty five. Plus ten ninety five. Check this one is correct or not? Seventy plus eight how much? One fifty. One fifty by two how much? Seventy five. Correct one is it? 
After that, you can find that a a nothing but assume would mean. Already explained step derivation method mean assume would mean equal to here given the frequencies. Highest frequency mid value is assumed to me. Highest frequency what here? Highest frequency is highest frequency. This highest frequency mid value is you have to take assumed to me. Assumed to me also be computed. You have to take assumed to me is sixty five. You have to take in in this mid value any value you have to take assumed to me you get the correct answer. But uh, I am taking frequency highest to value mid value. I am taking assumed mean. After that, we can find the n. The n is equal to what? X i minus a by h. X i minus a by h. This one is the value of b i. In this b i, already explained the sum trick. X i value how much here? Here thirty five. Thirty five minus a value is sixty five. Thirty five minus sixty five minus thirty. Minus thirty by h value ten. Minus thirty by ten minus three. Already explained. We are doing this way. Assumed mean opposite b value is zero. Correct answer is sixty five minus sixty five zero by something zero. Goes to opposite. Goes to opposite, subtracted each term one one. Zero minus one minus one minus one minus one minus two minus two minus one minus three. All the same. Thirty five minus a value is how much? X value is thirty five. A value is sixty five. Thirty five minus sixty five minus thirty minus thirty by x value ten minus thirty by ten three minus three. You get correct. After that, the downwards increases one 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 two three. This is the value of the a. B I also be completed. Let's look at find the English formula. H I to completed, M I to completed. F I into D I square is there. Here F I into D I is there. F I into D I that means this two multiplied. F I into D I square. First we can find D I square. D I square. D I square value how much here? Here D I square value is how much? D I square nothing but this D I value square is not those. Minus this square value nine. Minus two square value four, minus one square value one, zero square value zero, one square value one, two square value four, three square value nine. This is the D I square. After that, you can find the F I into D I square. F I into D I square. You can find F I into D I square. How much? F I into D I square. That means two times you multiply the three. Three into nine. Twenty-seven. Seven into four. 28, 12 into 1, 12, 15 into 0, 6 into 3, 8 into 1, 8 into 1, 8 into 4, 8 into 1, 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 8 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 105 this 105 is a value of summation of fi into d square summation of fi into d square value is 105 completed here this term also be completed here summation of fi d a whole square that's why you can find first summation of fi d a first you can find fi into d a what fi into d a you can find F I into D I multiplied here. F I value is what? Three into D I minus three minus nine. Seven into minus two minus fourteen. Two into minus one minus two. Fifteen into zero. Zero. Eighteen into one. Eighteen. Eighteen into one. H. Three into two. Six. Two into three. Six. You can add first of these all positives. Eight plus six fourteen. Fourteen plus six how much twenty? These all positive terms is twenty. Here these all terms four plus two six six plus nine fifteen minus thirty. Here minus thirty five is there. Here plus twenty is there. Minus thirty five plus twenty how much? Minus fifteen. Adding these all terms you get minus fifteen. This is minus fifteen. This minus fifteen is which value? Summation of F I into D I value. Summation of F I into D I value is minus fifteen. See students, first completed all values. Correct answer. H value is completed ten. 
n value is 50, n value is 50, summation of i is equal to 1 to n, f5 into dx k value is 105, summation of i is equal to 1 to n, f5 into dx k whole scale value is uh, minus 50 whole scale. You can write this part of variance sigma square equal to h square nothing but n square, n square nothing but 50 square into n value 50 into this value equal to 105 minus this value equal to minus 50 all scale. This value minus 50 all scale. Next, 50 into 105 how much? 50 into 105. 105 5 is 5 5 is 25, 2 is 5. You get 5 to 5 0. 10 scale value of 100, 50 scale value of 2500 into 5 2 5 0, 50, minus 50 scale value 225. How much? 225. You get 5 out to 5 0, 225. How much? You get pay for 5 2 0, 5. You get 5 0, 25. You get what? 5 0. This 2, this 2 cancel. 1 by 25 into 5 0, 5 0, 25. You can take the 25 table. 25. 2's are 50, at a time you have to take 0, 25 ones are, you get the 201 is the variance, correct understands, what is the variance here, variance is 201, what is the value of variance, variance value is 201, after that you can find the standard deviation, after that you can find standard deviation, standard deviation is number 1, standard deviation is number 2, sigma, square root of variance, square root of a variance. Square root of variance value is 201. Variance value is 201. Here, variance value is 201. Standard deviation is equal square root of variance. Square root of 201. Square root of 201. Approximate value is 14.63. Approximate value. You can write square root of 20, 201 also be correct. Standard deviation square root of 201 also be correct. Sometimes you can write approximate value 14.5 or 3 or something. Okay, friends, this is the uh, way you can solve the continuous discrete frequency distribution by using step deviation method. This is very, very useful. This table are very, very useful. Okay, friends, today assignment problem is this is find the variance and the standard deviation of the following data. Class interval is given. Frequency is given, class interval 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90. A frequency is 3, 61, 132, 153, 140, 51, 2. In this problem, you can do the previous problem model. We can write the step deviation method, variance formula sigma square equal to h square by n square into n into summation of i is equal to 1 to n, f i into d i square, summation of i is equal to 1 to n, f i into d i whole scale. In this formula, first you can construct the previous problem model table. That table you can find a di, f i into di, summation of f i into di, after that summation of f i into di square. All values substituted in this formula, you get variance. That to variance, you can write square root. That is the standard deviation of the given continuous discrete frequency distribution problem.